Testing on the mic. Mic is going, camera is going, and we are live on YouTube. Well, we're not live on YouTube, but we're coming at you on YouTube. How's everybody doing out there? And welcome back to my channel. So last week, I made a YouTube story where I asked if anyone had any questions out there for me. And I got some questions, and in this video right here, I'm going to have... I'm gonna have some answers. So let's get right into it, shall we? I should have had these uh, questions pulled up, but instead I have like, <laughs> what is this, like seven tabs pulled open and one tab is Umami Burger. For those that haven't had Umami, it's a great uh, it's a great burger joint. I always get the truffle burger. I, I, why'd I have this pulled up? What do you do as a career? Jacob, that is a great question to really get this Q&A started. And I'm gonna answer your question with a sponsor of today's video. Crash Bandicoot on the run. You can download and play for free right now. Link to download the game in the video description. This game has new seasons every four weeks, so it never gets repetitive. This game has a good soundtrack too. It really gets your head bobbing. You can turn the soundtrack off if you want, but I don't recommend it. Yeah, the controls on this game are pretty smooth as well. Gosh, I didn't mean to slide right there. No! Oh, I gotta keep going, y'all. Easy mistake. I promise the controls are smooth. That's gonna happen when you're playing these games. It's gonna happen. I wanna blame the phone. Maybe the phone's just too big for my hands, all right? I enjoy having this big, this big phone here, but sometimes it's just not easy, uh, easy to grip. No excuses, we're gonna, we're gonna beat this game. We're gonna beat this level. Yeah, Jacob, again, great uh, great question to really get this video started. Yeah, I've been playing video games my whole life. Uh, over the last uh, couple, last two years, it's been more of a full-time thing. Oh, whoa! You're killing me, Jacob. To go back to what I was saying, I've been, I've been gaming my whole life, but over the last couple of years, I've been gaming, you could say full-time, I've been gaming uh, just about every single day, live streaming. Still in the process of growing as a streamer. You would think, you know, having a good amount of views on YouTube that I'd be uh, one of the biggest streamers of all time. But, like any platform, you gotta just keep growing, keep putting time into it. Yeah, this game is on point, speaking of point, checkpoint. Just like that, just like that, baby. Thank you again, Crash Bandicoot on the run for sponsoring this video. Are you currently in a relationship? Yes, I've been with my lovely girlfriend Tia now for going on four years, and I'm gonna marry that woman one day. I'm gonna marry that woman. What did you have for lunch today? Chipotle. I have Chipotle quite a bit. I'm, I'm more of a, a bowl guy, but every now and then when I'm feeling crazy, I'll get a burrito, and I always get, not that it really matters, and we're, but hey, we're on a topic with Chipotle, so I'm gonna dive in. I usually get a side of guac. I don't get guac in the bowl, I get guac on the side because I like taking a little scoop of guac with my chip and just throwing it into the bowl every now and then. Not for not for every bite, but every now and then I'll, I'll take some, take a little chip dip of some guac, throw it in the bowl. You don't throw the chip in with the guac. You, you like, you get, you get the guac off the chip and just throw it in there. I'm not really one to have the guac already in the bowl. I like spacing out and being in control of where the guac is and what's going on with the guac at all times. That's kind of like my routine when I have Chipotle. And uh, Chipotle is great, Chipotle all day. Also, another thing too, I know there's a lot of experienced uh, Chipotle getters out there that get Chipotle all the time. But as of late, we don't really, I don't really go inside Chipotle to order anymore. I always order online for pickup or delivery. And what I learned for pickup or delivery when you order Chipotle, you have to always order double meat, because when you order the regular amount of meat, the regular amount of chicken, every now and then, through my experience, you don't get much chicken in there. You gotta look through all the rice and beans to find like one piece or two pieces of chicken. So I always get double chicken, because when you, when you order double chicken, most of the time you get double chicken, but every now and then when you order double chicken, you only get the normal amount, the regular amount of, of chicken, even though you order double chicken. I think. When you're not there at Chipotle ordering in person, you're not watching them scoop your chicken, you know? So they can they can be a little bit stingy with your chicken when you order online for delivery or pickup. But I still love Chipotle, and for those that are new to Chipotle that wanna order it, I highly recommend if you're gonna go delivery or pickup to get double chicken, double meat, play it safe. 
Great question. What was your reaction to blowing up for the first time? Blowing up for the first time on on YouTube, on the internet, going viral. It was amazing. It felt like Christmas morning. Why are you so cool? That's a question I do not have answers for because you don't teach this. It just happens. I wish I could have an answer to, to, to tell you why I'm so cool, but it's just the way it is. All right? Uh, I'm pretty cool. Deal with it. How are you, Steve? Excuse me. I'm doing pretty good, thanks for asking. You know, there's always gonna be better days. There's gonna be good days, there's gonna be better days, there's gonna be not so good days. But as of right now, I am focused. I am determined to get my next projects out there into the world. Your favorite video on YouTube, The Little Mermaid in Real Life. Did Miley Cyrus ever reach out to you after you released your Wrecking Ball video? It was legendary. I still revisit it from time to time for a laugh. Not Miley Cyrus directly, but her management team uh, sent me an email, they got my info, and they sent me a bottle of champagne. And uh, a little note came with the bottle of champagne that said, From Miley and my pimps. So in a way, I feel like she did reach out to me, but I my main contact was uh, through her management team. Do you love pancake? I enjoy pancakes. I, I do. I haven't had pancakes in a while, but when I do have pancakes, I really enjoy them. But it's one of those things that, when it comes to pancakes, there's at least a what, four or five on the plate when you have, you don't just have one single pancake. If I had just one single pancake, then yes, I would say I love that pancake because I want more. But when you have pancakes, you have what, about four to five pancakes, depending on where you go for these pancakes. They could be pretty decent sized pancakes. So I would say I go into having pancakes, loving them, but then after I, I fully eat all these pancakes, I don't feel so good. And I don't, I don't love them as much anymore. But I would say I like the idea of pancakes more than I enjoy pancakes. But maybe next time I enjoy a pancake, it should just be one pancake. And that is your question, do you love pancake? So I would say yes, I need to have more pancake in the mix for sure. I see this comment and I'm just thinking about Banana Pancakes, a song by Jack Johnson. Great song. How is gaming on Facebook going for you in a financial perspective? It is going pretty dang awesome. It is currently my main source of income. And uh, yeah, I've been streaming on Facebook now for almost, going on two years, this summer will be two years, and uh, I love it, you know? Like, I've always been a competitive gamer. Long before long before streaming, I've, I've always been playing video games. So to, to be streaming now, this has been a long time coming. I should have done this forever ago. Um, but yeah, it just feels natural, it feels right. And I know a lot of questions come in too, saying, hey, why don't, you, why don't you stream on Twitch or why don't you stream on YouTube? Well, with Facebook, I got a really cool opportunity to become a uh, Facebook gaming partner that kind of got my foot in the door. But as time goes on, I probably will you know, branch off and stream on, on YouTube, maybe both at the same time. We shall see where the future goes here. What are your plans going forward? I mean, your main goal. Just keep doing what I'm doing. I know you don't see me much on, on YouTube, but... What I've been working on is what I'm gonna keep doing. I just wanna keep making good vibes, keep putting good stuff out into the world. Even even if it takes a little bit of extra time, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. I wanna put good stuff in rotation and just spread that love, baby. Just smiling, stay smiling. Life is hard and uh, I know it's cheesy, but just gotta make it a, a little easier. And if it's just one smile at a time, I'm all for it. Did you ever play any sports? I grew up playing a lot of roller hockey and, and basketball. A big accomplishment of mine when it comes to basketball was making the ninth grade basketball team. I was uh, the backup to the backup point guard. So I was, uh, you can call me a bench warmer, that's what I was, a bench warmer. But hey, still a big accomplishment. I would only ever play for the last 30 seconds of the game, maybe even like 10 seconds of the game. I think they only ever put me in because they felt bad that I had family and friends there to visit me. They're like, fine, put them in, we're already down by 40 points, we can't do anything. There was one game, I remember it so, so clearly, they put me in for the final, like let's say 15 seconds, we're down by 40 plus points. It doesn't even matter what I do at this point. But I remember I get the ball, you know, I'm, I'm dribbling it down, we got like, let's say 10 seconds left, and then I see an opening for a three point shot. I pull up, and uh, big time miss, big time air ball to the, like the cheerleaders that are well behind the court, they gotta like throw the ball back in, back in balance to the ref. But I made the team, all right? Like if I go to a bar top and it's a crowded bar top and I'm trying to get a drink for a while, I might be like, hey lady, excuse me, uh, I was on a ninth grade basketball team, can I get a drink? Oh now, I, oh, now you wanna give me a drink? Hold on one second, NBA is calling, the NBA is calling. Yeah, hold on, I'll get a drink in a second. Do you like turtles? 
I know your question is playing off the classic YouTube zombie kid video, but I'm gonna answer your question the way I want to answer it. So I'm gonna do a little transition to a different backdrop while I was out in out in California, and then I'll then I'll come right back. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I love turtles. Do you still have that receding hairline? How's the hairline? Let's just say, started from the bottom. Now we're all the way back here. Let's do a little a little update, shall we? It's not it's not that bad. I mean, I am I am losing the hair. It is go it is going back. In due time, I will be probably full bald on top of my head, but it's going at a slower rate than I than I thought it would. What's your favorite song? Wet and Resting by Manamana. My favorite karaoke song is Mr. Brightside by The Killers. And that's a wrap on my first ever Q&A video. If you have a question for me, feel free to leave that question down below for a potential future Q&A episode. And uh, yeah, the sun is going down, so I'm gonna get on out of here and get streaming. Catch you on the flip-flop. Peace, y'all.